Fuck a mess. Nice surf up. We don't need you. The stream with my VPN apparently breaks. Everything. But hi gamers, welcome back. It's the stream. Oh, everything hurts. I was, yeah. So I was going to go to the gym today. And then I, um, then I realised that, um, basically, I have quite bad social anxiety and I checked the, and also I'm a trans woman, um, so I don't like people perceiving me when I'm doing exercise. To go to the gym, but... There we go, I've tweeted. It's Pokemon again. Um, and I'm not going to be insanely tired of this whole stream like I was last time. I am sorry for that again. I say wait, I may as well just do some forum in who are. How are we all doing today? Hope it's good. Ah. <laughs> oh no, that was so loud. Okay. Pokemon, I do need to turn you down slightly. To like 30. Let's try that instead. That was a crit? Heck, that did nothing. Um, so yeah, I've been doing some grinding and stuff off stream. Oh, what I still haven't worked out is how much happiness I need to evolve a, a crowbat. Um, you need a happiness stat of 220 and highest is 225. That's like a lot. So you need to be on like 95% happiness zombo. I guess what I'll just check now is if, um, okay. Can I get a soothe bell? A soothe bell would cost me 14,000 dollars on the global chat. Um, let's check if the soothe bell We're going to gyms but not we're going to gyms but not the one where I do exercise. Um, hi. Oh, so, oh shit, the stream started. Fuck. It's the stream, everyone. I said, I said. There we go. It's the stream. We're playing Pokemon. And so, um, last time, uh, we, last time we uh, made some progress, we beat Erica, so we went with four gems in. Um, and now, before we go and do like the fifth or sixth gym, because we could go do either from now if we wanted, we've got some more Team Rocket to be up over in Saffron City. So, hope everyone's doing good today as well, and is doing better than me, who um, is both injured and had a panic attack and couldn't go to the gym, so I'm playing Pokemon instead. There we go. 
There we go. So we've opened the gates now so we can get around way more easily. Although we've got fly now, so it doesn't particularly matter. Okay, so Silvco. Um, this is where we get the Master Pool. Um, so yeah, we have unlocked a couple of things by getting up to the fourth gym. So now, if we talk to the Move Maniac, we can we can relearn any move we want to. Um, it does cost heart scales, and the only way to farm heart scale you can't get heart scales in um, in Kanto. This guy just gives us psychic, right? That's a TM. Um, so yeah, um, we need to, uh, is this the place we need to go? Yes, it is. Um, these are the notoriously, uh, non, non anything Pokemon fountains. They don't resemble anything at all. Oh shit. Is there a rival fight as soon as we walk into this place? I think there might be. So, he's going to have Pokemon between level 35 and 40. He's levels ahead of us. Okay, that's not ideal. Don't tell me we have to go do more grinding. This is true. It is hard to make a fountain that doesn't in some way resemble um, boobs. Okay, so, we need a couple more levels, evidently. He's got a leafy on now. That's such a choice. Um, okay, so with Zumbo, we need to get up to 70 to 95% happiness for the evolution. Have I already done the use today? Yes, I have. Okay. So, we're now going to... Yeah, I've seen a lot of bad fountains in my time. Okay. Sniffer probably isn't what we need to be using right now. But um, we can also buy candies. Um, so extra money is always going to be good. And remember... This is grinding, so deaths don't technically count. Although we will try and make them count. We will try and avoid them anyway because they lower happiness and we're trying to raise the Pokemon's happiness. Do you have... Okay. You have reductive gas, which means Doug... Okay. So that means I can just use Bulldoze. Doug gets a... This is true. It would be like one of the first, one of the first things to go. Is this one meant to sound like it's coming through speak, like coming through like more speakers? Okay, so I've got two rare candies that I could use on like, probably Totoro. Rollout wouldn't be terrible, but the thing is, I probably want to replace Zen Headbutt mm. again. Okay. We're going to get rest on... I think this is just how this sound, song sounds. It just sounds like it. Okay, so Amnesia raises defense, right? Special defense. So I don't think that's super useful. Um, but yeah, we need to, so we've got Toad at level 37. Um, we do also have our Gyarados in the box. I think I'm going to swap out our Gyarados for Barry, because Barry isn't massively useful in the near future. I don't think. Okay, so that's Monkey. Monkey destroyed. 
ape destroyed. It raises like special defense, so it makes you more immune to like bullets and stuff, I guess. Don't ask me how this works. Don't, yeah, I think Pokemon is one of those franchises where like if you question the logic too much, it really falls apart. Sniffer is level 34. See, I think it will make sense for us to bench um, Barry for just the immediate future because Barry, I don't think, is particularly... Because his water type that he's got is a Gyarados, Barry isn't, like, useful against that. Whereas Bruce, the Gyarados, is going to be useful. So let's do that. Let's also go buy some XP candies now um, and see how much we can level up. Because they're not actually super expensive. Okay. So Barry, you can go down there. Uh, Bruce, I need you. We do also have Horson, if we need Horson. Okay. Isn't that like a Harry Potter thing? Like... I'm pretty- I remember so I remember something being about surgically removing memories. I can't remember what, but there is something. Okay, so we're going on to the global trade link. Now, this is fine, so long as we don't buy- as long as we don't buy Pokemon, because that would be cheating. Um, also, geez, what, what's the most expensive thing on the trade link? A ghost costume for a million? Okay, so, so rare candies are, the cheapest rare candy is 13,000, whereas um, EXP candy a large XP candy which gives 10,000 EXP costs um, that, and um, extra large costs 15,000. How many does an extra large give? 30,000 XP, whereas a large gives 10,000 XP. So, I think it's, okay, let me do maths quickly. What is three times, uh, three times four, eight hundred? Four, okay, so it is slightly more economical to buy large XP candies. Okay, how many can we afford as well? So, 4, 8, 5, 6, 6, divided by 4, 8, 10. Cool. There we go. Oh, everything about, like, I think that just describes Harry Potter, like, like, th th the exact same thing as something else, but fucks up if you think about it for, like, more than a couple of seconds. Okay, so Doug, we probably want you to be, level 38 would do, and let's talk about you, Earthquake as well, which is the move we actually need. Yeah. Like, the world building of Harry Potter is, like, remarkably bad. And I'm, I say this as someone who's very bad at doing world building, because I'm not my favourite thing to do in the world when it comes to writing. Uh, Stevie, I guess two of them will get you to 39. Um, Todoro. Screech is, I don't think, very useful. <laughs> Because the, the issue with Todoro is we need rest on Todoro, but to get rest on Todoro we need to, um, we need to roll back the clock a bit. And that's not really, okay, so Sniffer can go up to level 40. Nasty Plot isn't terrible, but I don't think it, I've kind of mostly set Sniffer up to, um, 
Okay, then the last one will go on Bruce. Now this is what makes Bruce good. Dragon Dance is what is going to completely make Bruce completely broken. Okay. For a second that I so for a second there I thought the um fucking American Beauty soundtrack had started playing, but this is from um The Last Guardian. A game I really need to play, but it's not available on anything except PlayStation, I don't think. Like, these games are the ones that are most annoying from a um exclusivity standpoint. Okay, so the only things that are scary here are Gyarados and Alakazam. We don't have an electric type move to deal with Gyarados, do we? Um, I have Shockwave. So we could teach Sniffer or Totoro Shockwave. Neither of them are really good for that. Um, Totoro is probably just our best bet for powering down Gyarados. But because it's got Intimidate, what we we'll want to do is send out Bruce first and then we can switch. Wait, this isn't where the... F this isn't... Where's the... What? I thought the rival battle was there. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess I know nothing. <laughs> You've got a level 25 Zubat, don't they evolve? Oh, they evolve at like level 28, never mind. Okay. So we're really over leveled for the trainers, but we're not for the rival fight and Giovanni, which are the two scary bits of this. I don't know why there's such a disparity between them, but there is. Actually, I know why there's such a disparity between them. It's because Pokemon ups the level of like, hard, like fights that it wants to be hard. So basically any fights that matter, but it doesn't up the level of other trainers to compensate for that. So you end up with a position where you end up in a position where these trainers are crazy underleveled, but then you're gonna have to, after fighting them, deal with like their boss who's like almost ten levels higher than them, which isn't creates a really weird and kind of broken level curve. Ooh, I've also just thought of a way we can maybe get friendship on um Zombo up quicker. You goofed. You done goofed, kid. Um, vitamins raise happiness, I believe. Um, they are PVs, which I don't really care about, but, um, they will, more importantly, 76 happiness. And I think happiness comes from, like, winning fights... There's a bunch of ways you get happiness. Okay. Okay, this guy's gonna have electric types, which is a bit scary, but we can send Doug in. What ball is that he's using? I don't recognize that. Yeah. I really do need to watch more of Black Mirror because I've only, I've basically only seen the new season. And the new season is like, different to the rest of it. It's still got all that criticism, like, so social, ugh, all that, like, social criticism stuff, but at the same time, it doesn't really have the tech stuff that a lot of people really like about that era. Ugh. Now, this thing either has Magnet Pull or it has Sturdy. It's gonna have Sturdy, because why would they give it Magnet Pull? That's a Steel-type move, right? Okay, that is a lot despite the di level difference. That's a bit scary.
Yeah, on season one and two, way lower budget because they were done by like Channel Four in the UK. So they're like nowhere near on the same sort of technical level as um, as the Netflix produced seasons. And I, yeah, I, I have heard it gets to a point where it feels kind of, um, it feels kind of um, like, I think the way Jack Saint described it in his newish video on Loch Henry was like, um, some of the later seasons feel like it, an AI was generating episode ideas based on whatever was like in whatever sort of tech was in the news at, at that point. Oh yeah, no, I think the kind of grunginess of the early seasons really adds to adds to their like, because I've I've only seen the first season and the most recent season, which is is a weird combination to have seen, but hey ho. Oh yeah, hundred percent not. Like overly good CGI would probably like make it feel not as not as not as good or impactful or whatever. The thing about Black Mirror is it's a show that when I watch it, I feel like I should have thoughts about. And some of the episodes I just don't. I'm just like, oh, this is a thing they've done. Like, I don't know whether that's just because some of them don't like m merit. Like they're not really deep enough to justify having like amazingly deep thoughts about. But like, it's a show that wants to feel smart, but sometimes it just doesn't. Which is kind of a Charlie Brooker, Brooker thing, I guess. Because, like, I like Charlie Brooker. Like, I think his writing is, like, he's quite a good writer. But he's also a bit up his own ass. At least we're getting, like, decent chunks of money for these fights as well. Okay, so we can't get anywhere with them. We need to get to a teleport pad. I'm just really, okay. I'm so nervous in this section because I know there's a rival fight somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Luckily, we can always bait these electrodes into using an electric type move, uh, which Doug can then resist. And then we can... I was gonna say, and then we can dig to avoid self-destruct, but apparently not. Apparently it outspeeds. <laughs> okay. At least they haven't got explosion yet, because once they get explosion, they'll get scarier. Because I think explosion does like twice the damage of um, self destruct. Okay, there's the healing room there. So I think the first thing we should do is is get the these beds let us heal. I think do they not. Did I imagine this? Maybe I imagined that. <laughs> so this is the eighth floor that we're on currently. Okay, you've got a goal that. One th one kind of Pokemon does occasionally have some like kind of cool um storytelling through what Pokemon it's it's like um, the, the people you fight use. And one thing I do really like about that is that you will never see a Team Rocket member with a Golbat. No, with a Crobat, sorry. Because Crobat is a friendship evolution and they knowingly mistreat their Pokemon. So it's it's never something you'll see when you're playing one of these games. They wouldn't, at least in the older games, they may have changed this in the modern games because they get they get a bit worse.
Okay, Zumbas. Now Weezing might just self-destruct. I mean, the thing about Team Rocket is like, they're literally just like the Mafia. They're literally just organized criminals. They're not, compared to like later teams who are like, like later Pokemon criminals are like, in it for the destruction of the world or like they have like big ide ideological plans whereas team rocket are just like a bunch of guys who want to do do like organized crime and that's weird okay how's your friendship looking oh yeah no they're evil trade unionists <laughs> Oh god, there is 100% a reference to trade unions somewhere in Pokemon, and it's going to be cursed no matter what it is. Like... I'm sure I could dig around and find some weird stuff. If I wanted to. Hey, Gla. Yeah, us being like 10 levels higher than them does make this a bit easy, but it's fine, I guess, because we need the levels for when we get to... Oh, for... We need the levels for when we get to Giovanni. There's like 900 of these cunts. There's definitely one called everything at this point. Actually, I think, they, I think they've crossed a thousand with the newest games. I think the newest games have like the thousandth Pokemon in it. There's like so many these days. And I kept up with them all till they were like 700. And then that's the point where my brain just can't anymore. Like, I think they get, they get I'm sure if you grow, it's it's a case of just growing up with them, but like, they get more and more forgettable as they go on, I find. I don't trust that Zumbo can survive the Raticate, so I'm just going to send out Todoro to like, tank whatever it does. Like, I am now going to have to briefly bring up the what's it called um does jetpunk have a quiz of every single pokemon okay We're taking a brief intermission from playing Pokemon uh, to name every single Pokemon uh, uh, to prove a point. How many Pokemon saw? How do you spell Venusaur? Is it like a Venusaur? Like Dinos? Dinosaur? Okay, that's fucked. I'm just gonna sit here in silence and name every single Pokemon. Okay, so there's not one called Hoffa, this, as we found out. Okay.
Okay, there are so many of these cunts. Like, it's ridiculous. Kate. Now, what I probably am going to prove doing this is that I just can't spell. Now, I had to, to spell Ekans right, I did have to just, um, I did have to just type, um, I did just have to type snake, which is, okay, Pikachu, Pikachu, Raichu, is that Geodude? No, Onyx? What is that ground type? Oh, Diglett? No. What is that ground type? Oh, Sandshrew. Now imagine how much useful information these names could be taking up in my head. Okay, so that was Clefairy and Clefable. Then that's Growlithe. Okay, that's Ponyta. That's Vulpix. Okay, what is the order of some of these? Okay, Wigglytuff. Poison Flying is, is, is um, is a uh, Zubat, Golbat, uh, Crobat. I guess, oh, the other reason they don't have Crobats in this game is because Crobat didn't exist. Um. I forgot what the one after Gloom is. Vile <laughs> Plume. Uh, bug grass. What's a bug grass type? Is that, um... What's the bug grass type? I mean, Houndoom exists. What are the bug grass and bug poison types there? That's the question. Um, the normal type there might be Snorlax. No. Uh, Mankey. Um. What, Krabby? No, Krabby's further down. Oh, Paris! Thank you. And the other bug poison. We've had... What's the other bug poison type? In Gen 1. Um, is that Psyduck? It is. Okay, that's Psyduck and... Um, Golduck. Um... Oh, Magikarp. Okay, that's okay. Magikarp isn't that water type. What is that bug poison type in Gen One? That's 
I mean, we haven't had the, like, um, Bellsprout yet. But I think Bellsprout might be a Gen 2 Pokemon. Um, so, the other waters would be Poliwhirl. Okay. Okay, so it's like poly. Well. I'll work out how poly well is spelled at some point. Um. So. Oh, Meowth! That's that normal type. Thank you. Um, and Meowth evolves into Persian, which is just people from Iran. They didn't name that one very impressively. Uh, Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam. That fighting type, is that Tyrogue? Okay, is that, um, Hitmonchan? Oh, yeah, that is also true. Um, Weeping Bell, this tree bell. The thing is, I know how, yeah, it doesn't look like a Persian cat at all. I know how to, st I know some of them, but I just can't spell them. Uh, tentacruel? Is it tentacruel? Tentacruel? It is tentacruel. Um, tentacruel, tentacruel. Uh, I can't remember how Vistry Bell is spelled. Geodude evolves into Graveler. Is it Gravella? Gravella? Which evolves into Golem. I know how Golem is spelt in real life. That's Star... Star... Me? Star you Wait Okay, Ponita and Rapidash at Magnemite 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 Magneton Who Toot What? What's the other three normal flyings? We've had Pidge the Pidgeys and Spiro. What are the other normal flyings? Okay. Shelter and the other one. Okay, did I forget Drowsy earlier? Okay, we'll just keep going and then we can fill the gaps in the end. I don't know what those bug poisons are. Uh, I don't know what that water one is necessarily. We've had... Uh, I can't spell Vitry Bell, I can't spell Golem. That's not the Starfish one. So I don't know what that is. I don't know what they could be. 
<gasps> Dodrio! So then what's the one before that? What other flying normal type is there? Who knows? Uh, water other than shell revolves water into water ice. Spiel isn't in this game. Seal! Which evolves into big, the, the big seal. Um. Oh, far-fetched! Thank you. That's, I don't know, I forget. Okay, it turns out some of the early ones are forgettable as well. Seal evolves into a big seal. <laughs> um, those straight poison types will be, we've had the snakes, the other poison types. <gasps> Wait, Ariados! That was the, the bug poison from before, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. That's Gen 2. Never mind. <laughs> uh, whatever, water. We've had the starfish. We've had the ducks. What, what, what comes after? Whatever, what are psychics are there? Um, okay, we have ghastly. Uh, Haunter and Gengar. Is that how you spell the true bell? Because I couldn't spell it. There we go. Thank you. Because I knew the true bell. We said that, but I couldn't spell it. Can you tell me how to spell Golem as well? Because I can't spell Golem. <laughs> Were there any others that I couldn't spell? Oh, Poliwhirl and Politoed. I can't spell them as well. <laughs> Um, and I can't remember what the evolution of Shelter or, or Seal are called. That's my fault, though. Drowsy evolves into Hypno. Is it spelled like that? Okay. Apparently, yes. Voltorb. Electrode. A grass Psychic. Is, um, Egglet. It's, um... It's um, the tree one, the seed one and the tree one, which is like egg, eggs, 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 eggs. Eggs, 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 eggs. Uh, there's so many Okay. Um. What the? F oh. <gasps> Snowpoke. That was the water psychic type from before. Snowpoke. Okay. Cool. Um. We had how many grass rock types are there in this game? Oh, um, the rhino one, Rhyhorn. Um, we have. Uh, 
Uh, so Horsey, Cedra. Psychic Fairy would be Gardevoir? No. Gramble? And Snubble? Because this is using modern typing as well. So that's Jinx. That's um, Electric Fire. That pure electric type is. It's not Articuno. Um, we've reached the point where I, f okay, well, we've reached the point where, like, it gets, oh, um, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, Rockwater is the fossil one, so it's on, Might, on a Might, on a Might, Kabuto, Kaboo tops. Um, the bitey flyy one. Uh, we got Mew and Me too. That's the final ones. Um, we've reached the point where I forget what the later ones are because I never get that far into these first games. Um, Gen 2 we can do though, Chikorita, which evolves into Magnium. So Star, which evolves into Crocono, which evolves into Feraligator, 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 Fer Alligator. 